สวัสดีค่ะ Dr. s u r i n p i s a w a n Secretary General of ASEAN, recently talked at the BOI, a Board of Investment CEO Forum in Thailand. He touched on a very crucial topic, and that is the ASEAN Economic Community and its implications for Thailand. Our second keynote address is on ASEAN Economic Community. What does it mean to Thailand? So please give a warm welcome to the Secretary General of ASEAN, His Excellency Dr. s u r i n p i s a w a n Your Excellency Deputy Prime Minister k i t i r a t n a r a n o n g Your Excellency Dr. Suprachai p a n i c h a p a k Director General of Ang Thad. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I know where I am. I am standing between your pang of hunger and your lunch. So I won't be taking much of your time, but let me repeat what Dr. Supachai has said. You see, Dr. Supachai and me are itinerant on the global stage. We are certainly representing our organisations. In his case, the UN. In my case, this small regional organisation called ASEAN. But we are both. Deep down, we are both ties. We have seen the best of the world. We have seen the standard of excellence around the world, and we do believe that the Thai people are capable and deserve also to enjoy the best and the excellence that the global community is enjoying. But this very exercise, I agree with Dr. Supacha, is not a confidence-building exercise. We are not trying to do this in order to make sure that the world remain confident in us. But it is an exercise of projecting our own confidence about ourselves and about everything that we do that deserves to be recognized. But that is a big challenge. The first one is what Tony Blair just said. He had the opportunity to become an English teacher. Also yesterday, <clears throat> um, I became an English teacher uh, for the day for the Speak English campaign in Thai schools. So. <clears throat> In order to demonstrate um, the difficulties of learning a language, I am now going to say these words to you in Thai. สวัสดีครับทุกทุกท่านผมดีใจมากที่มีโอกาสมาเยี่ยมประเทศไทยขอรับภัยที่ผมพูดไทยไม่คล่อง Right. Okay. Um, and profound apologies to the Thai language for that pronunciation. English is the working language of ASEAN. The Thais are beginning to speak English once a day, and I'm told that that day is going to be extremely quiet in school. I do believe, Kun Pong Sak, President of the Chamber of Commerce, Thailand, that if we enhance the quality and the capability of our resources, in this case, just in one area, the proficiency in the English language, the competitiveness of the Thai private sector tomorrow is going to increase more than 50 percent. Just simple thing that you can do, and this English language, when ASEAN was born 
on the 8th of August, 1967, 1967, there was a telegram from the British Embassy here on Plunkett Road saying, these former colonies in Southeast Asia have tried to get together many, many times before, but they have invariably failed. A telegram to the Foreign Office in London. But this time, ASEAN has a good chance. But we British don't have to give them anything as a birthday gift. We have given them the best gift of all, the English language. And I'm glad Tony Bear was teaching yesterday. <laughs> so competitiveness of any country is the ability to communicate. Yes, ASEAN has been rather attractive. Yes, in spite of the low growth in the global FDI, according to Dr. Superchai, in ASEAN, from 2009 to 2010, we more than double our foreign direct investment. From 37 billion in 2009, the lowest year, to 78 billion US dollars into 10 countries of ASEAN, mostly to Singapore and Malaysia, of course. But the most interesting thing is, out of that 78 billion US dollars, 68 to 80 to 70 percent has gone into the service sector, into education, into health, into tourism, into construction into telecommunication, into logistics. Meaning what? Meaning the ASEAN population is growing, and the middle class is growing, and the purchasing power is growing. More people in ASEAN are more conscious of quality of life. So this is a market that is growing, expanding. But BOI and the private sector in Thailand and the foreign private businesses in Thailand must also think of the entire landscape of ASEAN. 600 million consumers. Ten economies coming together, integrating more and more. Barriers are coming down. Of course, some of you may say, yes, but non-tariff barriers are growing up. But the leaders and the ministers are very conscious of that. If you erect anything non-barrier to trade, to investment, all the rest of your ASEAN member states will need to be notified. You cannot get away with it. People ask me, so what's the lesson of Europe? What's the lesson of the Eurozone? My answer has always been more integration here, not less.